here we are again. Um, if you notice, I have uh, shrunk the window back down so that it will look just like this in uh, browser view. Uh, of course, the extended browser view, not the little browser, uh, because that is how I watch the majority of my videos. Um, although I know a lot of people that do watch them in full screen as well. Uh, but we're going to try this. We're going to see how it looks in both. Uh, but I wasn't too impressed with how the last video looked unless it was in full screen. Um, anyways, let's dive into this. If we remember from last time, uh, you type in blah, 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 and it would end up down here somewhere. And our key would be right here, and we would have to put in... Um, like plus one and then one at the end of it. So we need to find the algorithm so we can write a key gen. Well, let's uh, let's put in a, a an odd number of characters. That'll work. And so that doesn't matter. Okay, so up here we land. Well, where is up here? Okay, here's where we uh, were looking at prior and these were the jumps that uh, went over our good message. If you scroll up a bit, you see get DLG item text A. If you scroll up a bit more, you see get DLG item text A. And you see some funky business going on in here. Well, that funky business is what we're interested in. Uh, get DLG item text A in order here, here. So this first one Actually, I'll run through this, and I'll put a breakpoint right on it. Except that's not the right one. It's up here. And we'll do this, and you'll see after I run it, it got our name. Now it's oring EAX with itself. If it's zero, uh, then it would jump. But since uh, we entered text, because get DLG item text A, puts the length in EAX, um, that is obviously not zero. So now we're going to move to ECX, EAX, our length. Okay, now we're going to shift right ECX uh, by two, and what that's going to do is uh, essentially divide it by four, uh, which it did. Uh, of course, there's no remainder. So now it's going to take that same uh, length, and it's going to end it by three. And that's going to tell us if there was a remainder essentially that's kind of what it's doing now it's going to or EAX if it's zero it jumps over this increment of ECX what that's saying is alright we're gonna need another run of this because there's still characters left because it takes well I'll, I'll explain that in just a second okay now it's gonna clear EDX and then it's gonna move to ESI our name and then it jumps into this loop. It ORs ECX. If it is not zero, it comes up here. Now here's where it gets tricky. It's going to XOR EDX with the first four bytes, or the D word, that is at ESI. So it's going to take one, two, three, four, and it's going to XOR um, EDX with them. EDX is zero. So if we hit F8, now we have three, four, three, three, 3231 in EDX, which if we were to go into each character of that, it would be 4321 because uh, it's backwards in hex. So now it's going to roll it right by 10, giving us 2143. Now it's going to add ESI 4. It's going to grab the next four characters. So um, now it's going to de-increment ECX, saying, all right, we've done one. It's going to OR ECX with itself, see if it's zero. If it's not, we repeat. It's going to XOR our current, quote, serial, end quote, um, by the next four bytes. Now we have a new, quote, serial, but it's going to roll it by 10, which is in decimal 16, essentially going here, moving that here, and these back over here just like that. Now it's going to add ESI with 4, moving it to here, de-increment ECX, 
checking. Jumps back up. Now it's going to do it again with these three characters and a zero. So it filled it in with zeros, of course. But it didn't actually fill it with zeros. It's just the place that it stored the space. Excuse me. The space that was alloc allocated for it was already zeros. So the anything past it is zeros. So it's going to XOR EDX with um, what's left. This here is our key, but first we have to roll it. Bam. And there we are. So in the end, this is our key, but uh, you have to remember that other step. So real quick, I'm going to copy that. It de-increments ECX, or is it? It is zero, so we're not going to repeat. And it goes through and does some fancy cool stuff, but let's go ahead and see what it does. Actually, we don't even care what it does because our algorithm is right here. And if we really want to know what it does, it grabs a grabs our name in sets of four and XORs it with itself and rolls it to the right by two bytes. So, and then it repeats until there is no characters left. So I'm going to run, and we're going to run a to here, and it is not uh, zero, so we're not going to jump. And here, it is not zero, so we're not going to jump. And here, it's not uh, zero again, so we're not going to jump. It's going to and it. It's going to do some subtraction, and we're way over. So it is uh, going to jump because it, again, is uh, not zero and it's jumping. So, but if you remember, I copied the key, Control-V, and I'm going to change this to A and that a 1. Check, and we'll see what happens now. Run, not taken, not taken, hopefully. Oh, we have 1, so I did something wrong. this to a 2 then. Okay. Not taken, not taken, not taken. Jump is taken. Now we have negative 1. So we need to go B. Let's see what that does. Jump is not taken. Wow, you did it. So our key, if you recall, we have our algorithm, and in the next video we're going to make a key gen. And then we're going to find another key gen me with something different about it, and do it all again. Thanks for watching.